Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Today we're doing something a little bit different in that we're going to head into the workshop because recently I asked you guys to make some levels for me. So if we type RCE up there, we got a load of levels that people have built for me. And I mean immediately my eyes are drawn to this one, extreme engineering. Because oh my goodness, someone's made my face. So this is by Papra Ninja. Now we've got 500 grand, we've got pretty much all the materials. We don't have, oh good, we don't have hydraulics. We don't have springs either. Oh man, there's just loads and loads of cars everywhere though. This might be a bit too complicated. Uh, but if I press plate, look. <laughs> look at me. I look a bit old actually. I mean, I am getting old. So probably accurate. Now, that is absolutely incredible though. Fair play, man. Fair play. That's so cool. <laughs> look at Paddy in his hard hat as well. All right, well. Anyway, let's start from the left. So we've got car A to find. So car A down here. Of course, it's me and Paddy in the G-Wagon. What we got to do? We got to... Oh my goodness. We've got to get over that. Can we... How do we get over that? That is huge. <laughs> but the flag is down that side. So yeah, basically first car, we just got to get up and over whilst avoiding these jets. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about budget on this, but let's start with a curve up to there. We'll unlock the tangent. Then I, don't, I know the G-Wagon has power. Like, that's why I picked the G-Wagon, of course. But does it have enough power to get up that. I don't know. All I do know is... Boosh. Okay, so from here, I'll, I think I'll just work in... Should I work in steel? That's probably the most sensible thing to do. So if I just do, like, big trusses like that, then I can just copy those up. And then we can see, does that hold itself? Oh, it does. It does. Does it hold the G-Wagon? Oh, stress went up high there. Okay, so that piece broke. I will try just making these bigger. I feel like I'll probably need to reinforce though. Let's actually turn the stress on. Oh, it's red. It is red. I think that did better though. Let's see. Is that work? Okay, that's working. That is working. We get up to the top and then, oh my goodness, Matt and Paddy, no. Okay, so I'll try copying this to the other side. My only concern is we're just gonna like flop down, smash through that. I feel... I feel like Matt and Paddy are, like, really judging me. Like, if you let Matt and Paddy and the G-Wagon die, you're in trouble. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, and then... <laughs> Wasn't good for that, Matt and Paddy. So, yeah, we give that one a bit of a nudge. Uh, so, how do we get across there? Oh, that seems fairly easy, right? we just got to get over to there whilst avoiding the boats. And we have foundations in the middle. Lovely. So, what I'm thinking of doing if i just shove a load of road in along there and i've built a pillar up to that point then i'm thinking let's go with something a bit more stylish for this one so what i'm thinking if we take these up to each of those then just trust between them with steel so i do that sort of thing and then on top i do like little triangles like that and then i just join them all up with more steel then we end up with something like that which is oh in my opinion pretty Bilfy. Um, the question is, though, when Matt and Paddy come flying down that hill, are they going to nudge this one so hard onto it that it breaks? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, man, he has some speed. That is some G-Wagon speed. Right, what's next? Oh, my God. What the? Okay, so next we... <laughs> oh, this is going to be a strong bridge required. So we've got a flatbed truck with a school bus on it with a dump truck on that with Matt and Paddy in the G-Wagon on that. And we've got to get those across to here. That's actually a massive span. So I would want to use an arch because they're nice and strong. But I don't think I'll be able to because everyone will just fall off. So we probably need to keep the road flat. Although maybe, maybe I can get away with like a little curve. Is that going to add any strength? I think it's worth a try. Worth a try. So let's just fill that in with road. And then we've got loads of anchors under here, which not going to lie, pretty thin thankful for. So what I'm thinking, we do like a nice arch bridge. You know, like the gorge bridge I built in the, the real bridge episode? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not going to lie. That could be tasty. Um, what I might do though, I might do this line above first and then just adjust those. So we're in between the nodes like that. I think that's pretty good. So I want to fill that with wood. Then I want to do the one underneath. So we'll come up to there-ish. Then using 
deal. I want to go between all of these, like that sort of thing. So I've just made a very nice little truss. And then if I just connect all the bottom ones together, replace the wood on the top with steel, copy to the other side. Then we have a nice big arch, which should be pretty strong. And the reason I offset these is because I can do quite a nice little truss between all of those like that. So all that middle bit is supporting on the arch. And then I can probably get away with perhaps a support a bit like that. So that will sort of take the corners because yeah, that is standing. I may need to do a bit a bit of work in there. Let's just turn the stress on. Uh, it's not too bad. It is not too bad. Oh, but it did not hold. It did not hold. What broke? Oh, down there. Okay, this is going to need quite a lot of reinforcement then. I mean, or I could it may be worth trying to take some of the load off the arch. All right, so it's a way. Oh, no, they're falling off. Oh, okay, I don't know if you saw that, but that was not enough to keep them on. I mean, what I could do, I could just build like a little support. So wedge a bit of road in there. Hope that that stays on the, on the back. I mean, it might do. It might do. Trouble is, oh no, it's fallen off. It's fallen off already. Okay. I think what I gotta do, I gotta make this road flat. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, with Matt and Paddy watching on, look, we have the bridge. Is it gonna be strong enough? Oh my goodness, not in the slightest. Okay, I may, I may require a little bit of tension here. So if I bring that down to about there-ish, then that should help support the arch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stress. Okay, so that broke. Yeah, so maybe it would be worth trying to support some of this edge on the on the arch. I was trying to avoid it, if I'm honest. But all right, let's try that. I've got the stress turned on so we can see where it goes red. All right, we made it. No, we didn't make it. Oh, game. You lied to me. Okay, what broke? Oh, just that bit of that tiny bit of road. I mean, if I add a bit of a truss to the top, that should make the road a little bit stronger. Okay, please, please, please. No. Oh, man. <laughs> the truck moves so fast. Yeah, that got annihilated. What I may need to do is add some extra, like, supports down to the arch. All right, and I've also turned the speed way down. <laughs> Look at Matt and Paddy up there. They're like, oh yeah, G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. But right, stress up to, went up to 92%. Over this end up to 97. We have fixed it though. Excellent. So now we've got the final G-Wagon to get across. And there is this in the way. So I feel like two choices. I could, um, it was my original plan. I was going to try and hang a bridge from the arch above. This goes up to 97% stress though. So I don't think that's going to be possible. So instead dead. I'm thinking we try and banana it. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of a banana bridge. I will say that. But banana, close relative of the strongest shape. So I think it's acceptable in this circumstance. Okay, so the way that these banana bridges work is basically you want your cable to be tight and then the road to rest on top of it. However, you'll notice when we press play here, the road just completely shatters. Now, that's because as gravity takes effect, all these road pieces are being crushed together. So if I just delete like one at the end, you should see that as the cable takes tension, the road is fine now because it's not being crushed or pulled apart. Uh, so what I may do is just like flap a bit of road up on there. So, oh no, it, there's no, oh, there's no, there's no node. Okay, let's just we'll do that instead. So hopefully that cable has the strength to take the G-Wagon as it drives across. Uh, we've just got to wait for these other bridges. So we got that one done. We got the double arch. We've then got the massive one on top. The only thing I'm worried about this is the speed speed of the G-Wagon. It is powerful. No, we're good. We're good. We finished with the banana bridge and we completed extreme engineering for 387 quid. Uh, let's have a look in the gallery. Someone's actually already done this level. Who's this? Lord Drizzle Bob. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what. Pretty similar designs. He used wood down there. Went for a little arch on top and huge side support. So <laughs> Oh, does that happen on mine? Do they just drive off the edge? Do you guys drive off the edge or do you stop? Oh, I never noticed that. No, man, Paddy, no. Anyway, that was a really fun level. Fair play. Let's have a look at another one. Real Civil Engineers Rainbow Road. Oh, I'm getting Mario Kart flashbacks. Hopefully this RCE Real Civil Engineer guy enjoys, even though I don't know his channel. <laughs> I mean, there's only one way to find out. It does look fun, though. So let's have a look. I mean, he's got... For someone that doesn't know my channel, he's he's included the Matt and Paddy G-Wagon. Um, so what if we... Oh, no, they move. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. I've only got 10 bits of road as well. Oh, and it's got to come back. And it's got to come back. Okay, so what I'm thinking, we're probably going to have to do stuff like that. So as we drive over... Yeah, tell you what. Can I just get away with, like, 10 of those? Oh. Two, three, four, nine, 
10. Man, this could be the easiest complete ever. Oh, come on, Matt. You are genius. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's actually working in your face, Rainbow Road. Oh, this end could be tricky. No, we're good. We turn around. Oh, we're actually doing it. Matt and Paddy in the G-Wagon. Paddy at the wheel. Matt riding shotgun. Oh, we actually did it first time, boys. Yes. <laughs> Get in. That is the power of engineering. There is a gallery solution to this. Oh, someone did it for eight grand. That looks like the cheesiest thing ever. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, that was really fun. I like that one. Intrigued by this. Level six, nine. Nice. nice. Uh, RC for the win. I can get behind that. By the way, not all my levels are like this. What does this entail? There's quite a big budget. All right. So what do we have here? We've got motorbike we have a load of nodes we've got a, it's now just going to pass itself so it goes up there does a backflip complete the level but no no budget okay cheers mate all right so i found this one by varg dog because uh, i just want to know what's going on with the buildings and stuff let's have a look at this so we got to get this fire truck across that gap and then across that gap, which I think is fairly easy, to be honest. So I've made a couple of simple bridges. We just got rope cables there. But look at this level. Look at the buildings. They're all like falling over and stuff. But we made it across there. Are we going to get around this building? Yep. Look at the road underneath. It's crazy. My bridge does work, though. And then... Oh. <laughs> into a little tunnel. Cool. All right. We then have this level, which... Oh, my God goodness how tall is that is it meant to look like a knob i'm seeing a knob so we've got you down there we've got to get you all the way to the top there is the flag so oh man, how do i go about this there's no anchors anywhere apart from at the bottom we have a hydraulic controller but there's only one hydraulic phase i'm not actually sure i can i can beat this i don't even know how to go about doing it i mean actually actually i do have an idea it depends on what this collides with like if i put a load of cable like that sort of thing go over that way oh it does it does slide okay okay i think i think i know a way of doing this maybe thing is how does the line tool actually work so if i say go from there in a straight line up to there ish how small can i make the cable is that small enough like if i fill that in oh wow that is a really weird noise sounds like i'm in like a star wars laser battle i feel like that might get caught on that corner but my thinking is we go over this way so all the way over to here but then potentially i can just put like a massive weight and in order to get this to work this weight has to weigh more what does it weigh 18 polygrams it's got to weigh more than all the cables on this side which are oh, they only weigh 2.7 polygrams and more than matt and paddy which is 5.5 polygrams as well as the road needed to lift them up like that sort of thing so what i'm hoping as i press play that should oh no the weight the weight <laughs> no all the cables landed on their head <laughs> okay so let's slow this right down and try and work out why does that snap i'll turn the stress on is it because oh it might be because the nodes get stuck okay so if i add more nodes at least just for this first start bit that should help right because they're going to be less likely to get stuck i think all right so this time a lot more nodes so they should slide oh no they've been stuck again oh it's just hang is it stuck this end or is it stuck it might be stuck that end i think i need i need way more nodes on my cable i think though the theory is like sort of there so if i go from there to there which is a lot smaller can i then make oh it won't go any closer i'm gonna have to draw them by hand okay well if i just mark a node i can probably i don't even know how i go about making these small i guess just do that so if i just copy one piece up loads and loads of times and then just keep copying the whole thing and then copy the whole thing again yeah this won't take too long i don't think so i've just got to do this to the top All right and then i just take this cable over this direction and then maybe that will work better oh no oh no something snapped okay so what happened that oh it's still getting stuck All right it might be worth as well actually trying to get these to lay flat if i do that sort of thing there's going to be less movement to start with then oh my goodness are they stretching wait what the cable stretch i didn't know cables did you see how much they stretched hey, look at these cables. look how close they are look how pulled apart they get All right so perhaps i can add just a bit more weight to this side the trouble with adding more weight is the cable is going to do that. I tell you what, I wish this corner wasn't square. If it was curved, I'd probably be okay. I'm not sure this is the way to do this. I am just wondering, could I, if I go back to a much smaller weight, could 
Should I then do a chain of hydraulics down to like down to here-ish? Then with cable underneath, that could start pulling all of that. So oh I just <laughs> It just completely obliterates. We're not getting any movement around this corner. Okay, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I am struggling with this. I mean, I know I could do a line of hydraulics up, but they need to go twice as high. Like each hydraulic can only shrink by half its length. So that would mean building a tower as tall as that pillar on top, which just ain't gonna happen. So let me just do a little test up here. I don't think cable interferes with road, so that will just drop straight through. Let's have a look. Does it drop straight through the road? Yeah, it does. So I can't make the curve with road there oh, oh actually actually what if no i don't know i thought i had an idea then i thought it came to me but it didn't okay let me just disconnect that and maybe see if i were to just pull from like this point does that oh look it is actually pulling it up it is actually pulling it up look man paddy they're actually suspended almost okay so i'm wondering if i can get i feel like if i can get movement first off then maybe i can still get it to to go down here but yeah this definitely works around one corner it's just trying to get it to work around two corners or is it just having the bit of road that stops it going back All right one more thing to try then what if i copy this entire cable onto this side so when we press play we got perfectly balanced cable now i can just add weight add it down this end just I don't know, just let you go mental. And then, is is that working? I can see these cables going down. These ones aren't going up. What's going on there? There is no movement. Let's just lift this weight up a bit. Okay, well, perhaps I could give it a bit of a, a bit of a head start. So if I put a piece of road there and then do an arm coming off, and then with these hydraulics go to like that piece, that should, oh, if I can get it to stay, that should give it a bit of a head start. Start. Maybe if I add a bit of weight to this side. Oh, it's trying. <laughs> it's trying, but it's not working very well. All right, what if I try and grab like way down this end, like that piece? It's pulling it. Oh, I think the cables it's got stuck. It's not it's not falling off very nicely. I may need to add like just some sort of random weights. Just oh there you go, there you go. Oh, it started moving. No, it keeps getting stuck. All right, what if I pull some of the cables? with that. Come on, just get moving. All right, ready? Ready? Yes. 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 Oh, I stopped. All right, if I fast forward, this weight on the right is just going deeper and deeper underwater. It's now off my screen. So I think the cables are just stretching, but it's not it's not moving. All right. Well, this weight, I've raised it up. It's now springing up and down. Maybe, oh no, maybe the second drop could do it, but it, I think it just snaps. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, the other thing I've noticed, I do have foundations. How far out can I at? Oh, I can't build them over here. Wait, I can't. I literally can't build foundation anywhere on the level. Oh yeah. Cheers to that. That's really, really useful. I guess next up, if we know we can go horizontal, I guess that's just what we do, right? We do hydraulics over this way. And then we just try and build some sort of arm, like something like that. It's not going to be, it's never going to be strong enough. I don't, I don't think I can complete this level. Although to be fair, I haven't actually tried the simple just do hydraulics up. I know, I know that this won't work because a hydraulic can only shrink to like half its half its length so this well this literally can't work but let's just see what happens if i go up to i don't know there we'll fill in with hydraulics and let me at least just prove that it won't work so i've got that on the top i've got a little a cable support there so that should just lift up so if we head to the bottom yeah you can see the g-wagon is going up in the air but if we speed up to normal speed we get we only get halfway. Ooh, I just realized I've got springs. I haven't used springs in Polybridge 3 yet. Is that what I do? If I do a spring straight down, put that on stretched. Then when we press play, oh, it's got to be springs, hasn't it? So I just want to copy these all the way down now. Oh, I can't believe I've spent this long. I didn't even think about springs. The thing is, these might just break. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So if we press play, oh, what? Every single spring broke. Loser. Is that because I stretched too much? Should I have just done like 50% or something? Oh, this is going to be really annoying to copy all these every time. All right, so I've just got a couple of springs up top. They're at 50% stretched. So at the bottom, it's just connected with a cable. Let's just see. Okay, so it does lift up. So the concept is there. Let's copy a few more of these down. Ready? Oh, 
It doesn't move very much. It does not move very much. Yeah, so with half of it being cable, it lifts up not very high at all. Oh, I don't know how to do this. What if we for some reason do hydraulics and springs? Oh, it's going. It's good. No, it's... <laughs> It's nowhere near close. All I can do is build a massive tower, like, as tall as this. I don't think I can build a tower that tall. It'll just collapse. Well, let's just try it. What else have I got to do? Oh, you cheeky... Oh, no way. There's anchors in the sky. There's anchors in the... Oh, why didn't I see those? Why didn't I see those? So literally just, I don't know, just do, like, cable like that. That's going to work now, isn't it? That's going to work. Oh, Oh, I worked. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I didn't see that sooner. Oh, there's two people who have done the gallery. Let's have a look at the gallery. So this one, oh yeah, looks like they did exactly the same thing. And this other one, probably the same as well. Just looking at the budget, 150 grand. Oh, I can't believe that. That was so sneaky. I had no idea that was there. I spent so long on this. Right, well, thank you people that made levels. That was really, really fun. Yeah, if you want to make me a level yourself, try and make it not too difficult. Uh, but be sure to add RCE to the description so I can find it easily and use the G-Wagon vehicle, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed that, but for now, I'll say peace, love, and elevators. Ugh. Bye, guys!